Welcome everyone. Just remember, before we get started, if you want to download the project links, it will be down below in the description. Just all you got to do is enter your email and it's completely free. Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to continue our animation tree uh, and try to get our player to actually animate through our tree and through code. So let's get started and hop right into the animation tree. So here we, if you recall, we worked with our blend tree. Now we're going to create an idle animation. So let's rename that to idle. We'll create another blend tree, we'll create a few actually. One will be for attack, one will be for walk, and one will be for death, which we didn't actually do. So we'll have to do that at some point as well. Uh, okay, so let's do idle attack and walk though. We can line these up, maybe not perfectly, but good enough. And now we can transition between all of these back and forth, Oops. like so. And essentially we'll load them in in a minute, but in each of these new transitions, we have to make sure we click them, go to advanced and turn off the auto. We'll do that for all of them, except for the attack to idle. So let's do that to all of them to make sure that we don't automatically transition out of that animation. Now for the attack, we will automatically transition, but only for the switch mode at end. Now what that means is it will play the attack animation. And once that one attack animation is finished, it will go back to the idle. Okay, now let's edit each of these. So in the idle animation, we're going to take our animation and delete that. And we're going to create a blend space 2D. And we'll connect this into the time scale. Now in the editor here, we can now create stuff, a blend space here. Now in this blend space, we want to take the blend and make sure it's dotted. And on the left side, if you left, whoops, not going to move that, we're going to make sure we select the create point and click on the left, and we can add the animation idle left. And we can do that to idle right and idle down because the up is down and then idle up on the bottom. Okay. Now the cool part about this uh, is if I'm playing the idle animation, and I go into my idle and my blend space here, and I take my point, I should be able to move depending on where I am. And now you can see that if I'm up, I'm going down kind of or reverse, right? So here I'm going up, here I'm going right, left. Let's make sure that that is right. Idle right, okay. Uh, sometimes it gets a little buggy, but we're going to use this through code. So we're not going to actually manually uh, be moving this guy around. So now let's make sure we do that though, for each of these. So let's create a blend space 2D. Uh, I'll, I won't put a time scale, but it's up to you to put one if you want. We'll do, uh, this is the attack. So we'll do attack left, attack right, there we go. attack down, and then attack up on the bottom. And let's make sure that we click the blend uh, dotted line. Let's go back to the root and do the same thing for the walk. Connect these. Open editor. Uh, walk left. Walk right. And then walk down or walk up over here on the bottom. And then walk down on the top. Make sure we select that. And let's make sure I selected all the right ones. Yeah, walk up is down. Okay. Now we have these transitions. We'll worry about death later, but for now, let's take a look at our code and see if we can, uh, we'll get this moving along a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll get access to our animation tree. And we can do that by saying on ready variable anim tree. And we'll say anim tree like so, and we can get node animation tree. Okay. Now, using our animation tree, we want something called parameters uh, playback, and we want the blend position. Now, okay, to move to an animation, it's actually not that hard. All we need to do is say anim tree dot get uh, parameters slash playback, and then dot travel to the name of whatever we have. So idle, for example. So now, essentially, what in code it will do is 
take wherever we are and then travel to well, idle, right? So let's turn this off and make sure this works. So if I hit play, you can see that I play the idle animation. Now, if I change this to walk, you can see that it will now play the walk animation. Now, the advantage of this is that now I can actually set the parameters as well with the input vector. So, okay, we want to tighten this all up a little bit because this code is cool, but it's not very nice. So what we'll do is we're going to take our input vector and instead of doing it this way, what we'll do is we'll take this vector two, put it here and just delete this. And then we'll go over here, bracket, and put a comma over here. So now we're creating a vector two with these two inputs. See it like so. So that way we have it all in one line. Let me zoom out a little bit. And what we'll do now is just put the input vector times delta. Okay, now we'll duplicate this anim tree. And instead of get, we're gonna say set. And instead of the playback, we're gonna say idle slash, uh, okay, let's find what it is. Because what we do is we go into the idle and then we go into the blend space. So I think we just say blend position. So we might have to try this uh, together. So then we can pass through the input uh, vector as well. We don't need this travel. We just say parameters blend position with the input vector. Okay, now uh, let's do the idle, travel to the idle, and let's see if this works. Okay, so it's not working meaning we're not accessing properly. So I think we might be able to double check here and say idle slash blend space 2D. Now, nope, it's not working. So let me uh, just double check how to do this and I'll be right back. Unless that is how, okay, never mind. That is, I believe, how we do it. Uh, so idle slash blend space, blend space. Now it's not working perfectly. Um, and that's because the blend, the input vector actually resets every time. And we're going to add more to this to make sure that it actually works properly. So, okay, let's make sure though that our animation idle tree is working properly. Reset this. And I want to make sure that each of these are playing the correct animation. So idle down, idle up, and idle right. Okay. All right. Now, what we can do in code is we're going to check for the input vector first before traveling anywhere. So we're going to say if input vector is equal to vector2.0, then what we'll do is we'll travel to the idle because that means we're standing still. Otherwise, that most likely means we're moving. So if we are moving, we will travel to the walk. Now in the uh, else here, this is where we will set the uh, input vector. Why? Because if this is zero, I don't want to be setting it when it's zero. That doesn't make sense. So I'm going to set it when I'm moving. So I'm going to duplicate this three times and change these to attack and walk. So now we have idle, attack, and walk. All right, let's hit play. And now when I move around, you can see that it's working somewhat properly. We do have one little bug there. So up in every direction works except for the right. So that most likely means in one of these, I must have done something wrong. So let's make sure that we do this correctly. Okay, so I found my issue. My issue was in the animation player uh, I didn't change this to idle right, <laughs> that's why. So uh, again, this is why it's good to double check all the stuff that you have uh, and make sure you did everything properly. Um, one extra note is also for the attacks, we wanna turn off the loops. So make sure that in your attacks, you turn off the looping. So that way we are not looping our attack. Okay, now to finish this off, we'll create an if statement for our attack. Now. What we'll do is we'll say if uh, input dot is action just pressed, uh, let's say UI accept, which is our spacebar for now, 
And then we can say anim, and we'll just copy paste it so it's a little faster. So we'll say attack like so, but this might not work actually. So let's let's test it and see if it works. Okay, I'm clicking space and, atta and attack and whatever, and it's not working. Why? Well, what's happening is that it is traveling to attack, but it's not tra but it's traveling right away back to idle because the input vector is zero. So what I a workaround is we can create a variable called attacking is true. And we can say attacking is equal to true. Or I guess we would want to set this to false by default. Uh, and now what we can do is in here, we can, uh, all of this actually, we can say if attacking is false, then we'll be able to move and do all this stuff. So now we put all of this inside of this uh, if statement of if attacking is false. Now we want to set attacking to false when this animation is done. So to do that, we can go to our animation tree, go to node and go to animation finished, go to player, connect it and say attacking is equal to false. However, there's an issue with this. That issue is that it might not attack or check for the attack animation. And this is easy. What we can do uh, to fix this is say if attack uh, in anim name, then we can set attacking to false because that means we just finished the attack animation. And now if I hit play and I attack, you can see that I am attacking on the proper uh, direction now. So I'm attacking down, right, etc. Okay, that is pretty much it for this video. We have set up most of the animation tree. We've even set up our attack. Uh, in the next video, we will go through some custom made uh, UI strengths and stuff like this. So UI accept and UI write is kind of annoying and doesn't make much sense. Uh, so we'll go through some stuff like that. And we'll also fix and add the death animation. So uh, we'll take a look at how to add that in as a hit almost, and we'll implement it next video. So I will see you all there.